What's going on YouTube? In today's video, we are trying to figure out which is the best shotgun to be using in Fallout 76. Starting off with the weapons, there are three different shotguns that we're going to be comparing in this video. The first shotgun on our list is the Cold Shoulder, or, or, or the Gold Shoulder, and the main legendary effect is the Quad Effect, which is quadruple ammo capacity, has the target freezes reducing movement speed for 4 seconds and adds cryo damage, and has a plus 50% to damage to cryptids. Over the mods, we're using the Prime Receiver, Align Long Barrel, Stabilize Stock, Reflex Sight Circle, Muzzle Break, and the Gold Paint. Next up, we have our 3 star Legendary Gauss Shotgun, with the main legendary effect being the Quad Effect, which is quadruple ammo capacity, has the VATS critical hits do plus 50% to damage, and it also has hits have a chance to generate a stealth field. Over over the mods, we're using the Hardened Receiver, Extended Barrel, Aligned Stock, Extended Magazine, Reflex Sight, and the Clandestine Paint. For our final shotgun, we have our 3 star Legendary Combat Shotgun, with the main legendary effect being the Quad Effect, which is quadruple ammo capacity, has the bolts explode for area damage, and it also has a breaks 50% slower. Over the mods, we're using the Prime Receiver, Aligned Long Barrel, Stabilized Stock, Perforating Magazine, Reflex Sight Circle, and a Compensator. Now to begin our demonstrations with these shotguns, we've made our way to the one, the only, the level 100 glowing behemoth that goes by the name Alfred. And we're first gonna start off with the cold shoulder, then we'll swap to the other two shotguns. And my health is currently sitting at 37, and we're gonna try to hit that each and every run through, but here we go, we'll just get a little bit closer to him, that way we know we're hitting him for sure. And plus it is a shotgun, so the closer you are, the more damage you're gonna do. Now let me stand up, because this is not a sneak build. There we go, we got one shot on him. Two, three, Four. There we go. Not bad. Not bad. Now four more. One, two. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's not registering. There we go. Fantastic. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. He's getting a little bit close. Oh my gosh. My face. And just like that, Alfred is frozen. Now we've made our way back to the level 100 glowing behemoth Alfredo, but this time we're with our gal shoddy, and my health is actually sitting at 36, so slightly lower. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Slightly lower than before, but that is a-okay. Oh god, where's that rock gonna hit? Now we're just gonna get really close to him and blast him in the face. There we go, with one shot. Two. Now let me just charge this real quick. There we oh god, we're missing. There we go. Three. Four. Woo-wee! Look at that damage. Five. Six. And seven. With the cold shoulder, it was about eight shots once it actually started registering. Now with our final run through Fonzie, the level 100 glowing behemoth, we are back with the combat shotgun. And of course, my health is at 36. Now the only problem I'm having with this gun is it's not registering in VATS, but we'll try our best. There we go, just a face shot. There we go. Oh, there we go. One shot. Two shots. See, see, no register there. Three shots. Four shots. Oh god, oh god, he's getting really close. My face, my face, I gotta back up. I gotta back up, gotta get really far back. Woo wee! Oh Jesus. There we go, we got five shots. Bring it on, Fonzie. Six shots. One more shot, and this behemoth is no more. Woo wee, boy. He was mad. The next targets on our list to fill the wrath of our shotguns are all the disgusting super mutants located at the West Tech Research Center. And we're gonna start off again with the cold shoulder, and my health is sitting at 37. Hopefully, we don't die. I'm just gonna make our way in here real quick. Here we go. Here's our first target. Hopefully I can hit him. I'll get a little bit closer. There we go. Here we go. Oh yeah, that's a for sure shot. One shot and he is dead. What about you, sir? One shot and he is dead. What about this one? And just hit. There we go. Fantastic. Hopefully I don't die because I have super low health, but that's fine. Two shots with this one and he's dead. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. We got lasers coming this way and lasers are extremely broken. Oh god, get out of my way, you stupid warlord hound thingy, whatever you are. I'm fine. Everything's fine. I'm not worried. You're worried. Alright, here we go with a little bit more shotgun action. Fantastic, fantastic. With this shotgun, we're basically one-shotting all these guys, which is absolutely amazing. There we go. There we go. We just get on out of here. Who is shooting me? Is it you? Is it you, brethren? Well, now you're dead. Oh, Super Mutants, I have the lovely cold shoulder that y'all should totally check out. You like it? You like my shotgun? Huh? Huh? You like this shotgun? Now we're back at these disgusting Super Mutants, but this time we have our Gauss shotgun and our health is still... Well, it's at a 37 instead of 36, but it's still around that number, you know, it didn't really change much. So there we go, we're at the 37 mark. And here's our first target. We're gonna try to one-shot this guy, so here we go, get super duper close. And we got, we got 91. Okay, we got him, one shot and he's dead. What about you, fool? There we go. One shot and he's dead. What about you? Oh, yeah. Look at this damage. This is absolutely insane. 
I definitely recommend either the cold shoulder or the gauss shotgun. The only bad thing about the gauss shotgun is it does glitch out sometimes to where you can't reload or you can't move or you can't do anything with the shotgun. But other than that, it's absolutely fantastic. Oh god, oh god, didn't mean to do that. Let me just heal myself real quick. We got this guy back here. Here we go, watch this. Slingshot! And he's dead. Where's that floater at? Where's that stupid, disgusting floater at? I seen you over here, you green guy. Are you over here? Are you over there? Where, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Come on, floater. Are you out of here? I think the floater's out of here. Oh, oh, there he is. There he is. There's the floater. I knew he was around here somewhere. Let me just... One shot. Oh, God. Oh, God. I need to stop hitting that button. Here we go. One more shot. Oh, two more shots. And the floater is no more. Oh, super mean brethrens. Would you like to feel the power of the gal shotty now? There we go. One shot and he's dead. One shot and he's dead. Do we have any more that wants to step up against the gal shotty? We have a communist robot. Goodbye, you stupid robot. For our final run against these stupid West Techians, we have our combat shotgun, and my health is at 37. So we're gonna get really close to this guy. Hopefully we can one-shot him in the face, and hopefully I don't get detected. Oh god, oh god, I'm about to get detected. Hey, one shot, two shot, oh god. Only two shots? Still not bad, but not as good as the other two shotguns. There we go, fantastic. What about you, sir? It's a consistent two shot, that's for sure. There we go, get a little bit closer to this guy. Oh god, oh god, there we go, two shots. Get out of here, you stupid hound. Should probably stand up, that way I can move a little bit faster. Left, right, dodge, left, right. There we go, see that? That was awesome. One shot, two shots. One shot, two shots. Now the only thing better about this weapon than the cold shoulder is the ammo capacity. Other than that, again, I definitely recommend one of the other two shotguns. There we go, one shot and he's dead, holy crap. I almost died. Uh-oh, we've got this floater. One, two, three. Three shots and he's dead. That's as much as it took with a gauss shotty. Uh, super mutants. Where you at, brotherins? Oh, there's one. Here we go. We got a legendary boy right here. There we go. One shot, two shots, three shots, and he is no more. What'd I get? A chameleon T45 left leg. What kind of crap is that? Well, these super mutants are no more. And let me just get rid of this communist real quick. Eh, eh, eh. There we go, fantastic. Now, out of all these shotguns, I definitely recommend either the Gauss shotgun or the cold shoulder. The only problem with the Gauss shotgun is it does glitch up sometimes where you can't heal yourself or you can't reload or you can't do anything fun like that or try to survive whatsoever. But other than that, this does have a ton of ammo capacity and a ton of damage. Now for the combat shotgun, the only thing this is good for is well if you're trying to run a sneak build because you can actually throw a suppressor on here and get some sneak damage. But other than that, this one is left in the dust, so I either recommend the cold shoulder or the gal shoddy. Now over in the build, these are the base stats that make up the in-game shotgunner build that we use for the video, so if you want to use the exact build I was using, this is the start. These are the base stats without the legendary perk cards equipped. Over the normal perk cards, these are the normal perk cards that make up the in-game shotgunner build that we use for each of the shotguns. Starting off in strength, we have 15, and this one can have traveling pharmacy at 3 stars. Weights of all camps, including stim packs, are reduced by 90%. We of course have all the shotgunner cards maxed out to get the max amount of damage out of this build. We have blocker at 3 stars. Take 45% less damage from your opponent's melee attacks. Over in perception, we have 6 and this one can have skeet shooter at three stars your shotguns have excellent accuracy and spread we have concentrated fire at one star that's now targets limbs focus fire to gain accuracy and damage per shot we have grenadier at two stars your explosives detonate with twice the radius over in endurance we have nine and this one can have life giver at one star gain a total plus 15 to your maximum health we have ironclad at two stars gain 20 damage and energy resistance while not wearing power armor we have kin fiend at one star any kims you take lasts 30 percent longer and we did take overdrive and psycho tats in this video we have five proof at three stars take 45 to less damage from explosions and flame attacks. We have Radical at 1 star. The greater the rats, the greater the strength. A max plus 5 to strength. Over in Charisma, we have 6 and this one can have Filter Gen at 1 star. Stim packs and Rattleway will now work much more quickly. We have Strange in Numbers at 1 star. Positive mutation effects are plus 25% stronger if your teammates are also mutated. We have Tenderizer at 3 stars. Make your target receive 10% more damage for 10 seconds after you attack. Over in Intelligence, we have 8 and this one can have Nerdridge at 3 stars. While both 20% health, gain 40 damage resist, 20% of damage, and 15% to AP region. We have Demolition Expert at 5 stars. Your explosives do plus 60% to damage. Over in Agility, we have 15, and this one can have Action Boy at 3 stars. Action points are generate 45% faster. We have Enforcer at 3 stars. Your shotguns gain a 50% stagger chance and a 30% chance to cripple limb. We have Gunfu at 1 star. That swaps targets on kill with a 10% to damage to your next target. We have Adrenaline at 5 stars. Gain a plus 10% to max 60% to damage for 30 seconds per kill. Duration refreshes with kills. We have Dodgy at 3 stars. Avoid 30% of incoming 
damage at the cost of 30 action points per hit. Over in luck, we have 15, and this one can have bloody mess at 3 stars. 15% bonus damage means enemies may explode in a glory red paste. We have better criticals at 3 stars. Vats criticals now do a plus 100% to damage. We have serendipity at 3 stars. While both 30% health, gain a 45% chance to avoid damage, no power armor. We have ricochet at 3 stars. Gain an 18% chance to deflect back some of your enemies' range damage, no PvP. We have starch genes at 2 stars. You'll never mutate from rads, and Radway will never cure your mutations. And we have critical savvy at 1 star. Critical hits now only consume 85% of your critical meter. Over in the legendary pair cards, these are the legendary pair cards that help make up our in-game shotgunner build. Starting off in intelligence, we have that card maxed out. We have funky duds at 1 star, endurance maxed out, strength maxed out, luck maxed out, and far flung fireworks at 2 stars. These are the legendary pair cards, now let's get into my armor, buffs, and mutations. Over in the armor, what I'm using is a full set of unyielding gear, which gives me a gain up to plus 3 to all stats except endurance when low health, and since we're a low health bully build, this is absolutely amazing. Over my backpack, what I used is my trusty normal backpack with the high capacity mod to get a plus 120 to our carry weight. Over in the under armor, what I'm using is my shielded secret service under armor to get a plus 4 to our strength, a plus 2 to our perception, and a plus 4 to our endurance. Over the mutations, these are the mutations that we use for the build. We have adrenal reaction, bird bones, eagle eyes, egghead, healing factor, herbivore, marsupial, scud skin, and speed demon. Over in the buffs, starting off with our food buffs, we're using mute fruit juice to get a plus 2 to our agility, simple firm flower tea to get a plus 2 to our strength, potato juice to get a plus 20 to our max AP, blight soup to get a plus 100% to our critical damage, carrot soup to get a plus 4 to perception, and of course a perfect bubblegum that way our hunger and thirst mirrors do not increase. Over in our kim buffs we're using overdrive to get a plus 13% to our critical damage, and psycho tats to get a plus 1.35 to our perception, damage resist increase, and a plus 11% to our damage. If you enjoy fall content like this and you want to see more, I also made a video over one of my favorite weapons in all Fallout 76, the crusader pistol, so if you want to check it out I'll link it the screen right now you see that, that is my crusader pistol video. Thank you.